Hi, you're welcome back. It's time for entertainment now. And uh, the lady, <laughs> I'm always happy to see you. Okay, Hello, Araba, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm Don't good be distracted by the distractor. <laughs> I know what's happening, you know, but it's a great evening. It is. I know we've been mourning all through the game, but it's time for us to relax, you know, and talk of some entertainment. Right. Now, yesterday, we had the launch of uh, Miss Universe Ghana. Oh. I don't know if you know, but... Minaye Donko, wife of Sule Muntari, has bought franchise okay. to uh, host uh, Miss Universe Ghana. Okay. Yes, so there was a launch yesterday, mm. and she's been speaking about her objective and, you know, all the perception people have about beauty pageants. She says she's here for a change. Miss Universe, as we all know, is the ultimate globally. And um, for me, my objective is to take my experiences from the past and incorporate it with what is new for the next title holder so she can positively represent Ghana in the international level. That, that is my focus, to create someone who would make Ghana proud based on my experiences, the don'ts, the do's, and just support her. Miss World, Miss Universe, these were some of the big pageants that even initiated a lot of the pageants across the world. But when you talk of Miss Universe, it, was, it, it is a big brand. I mean, back in the day, a lot of us would like to associate ourselves with it because it's like, when you're in there, that's where you're seen around the world. It's universe, darling. <laughs> but I mean, I'm asking, what, what happened? I mean, what, 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 what took us so long to now get here? Honey, I have, I can't speak about the past. The past is in the past. We're here. This is the future. It's a new era. It's a new moment for Ghana to shine. This is the time. And I'm so delighted delighted to be part of this transition to put Ghana back, back on the map because as I said early on I'm a proud Ghanaian woman and anything that involves the betterment of Ghana the you know to promote tourism is what I'm here for <laughs> Okay, well, so Araba says I shouldn't tell you, but some years ago she contested. Araba, <laughs> where did you place? That's an allegation you can't substantiate. Oh, she told me once we're behind. <laughs> no, but I think I'm I'm very happy that oh, she's come about on board. When you contested uh, Menaya. Yeah. <laughs> she's uh, I think she was um, Miss representing Universe Ghana, Ghana at 2004. a point. Oh, 2004. Oh, 2004. Exactly. Okay, all right. Mm. But the brand is a huge brand. Very huge one. And so I hope that, you know, she lets the auntie. Well, her husband was there to support. He was doing the babysitting job while she was busy all over the place talking about the Miss Universe launch. But Doreen got to speak to him and spoke about the Miss Universe franchise and also what she is like. Who is Minai Doncourt? Yeah, very, very, very proud uh, of her because uh, she's an amazing woman. Apart from that, uh, she want to give back to to Ghana because she she was uh, a miss herself. So uh, she had this passion for so long. So uh, her getting this um, uh, license, uh, it's been uh, uh, really uh, a pleasure. How would you describe your wife? Amazing woman. Um, she's everything. Uh, she's a great mother. Uh, I love her to death. So it's 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 everything. I can't describe it. But then uh, I'll just say she's amazing. Are you are you looking forward to have more kids? Your boy is so cute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, probably another one or two, but one will be okay. Oh, don't you want a football team? <laughs> no. <laughs> I won't be able to handle 11. All right, so that's uh, Sule Muntari talking about his wife. Oh, he's very, very supportive. That's very nice to the see. His son. Mm -hmm. He looks too much like Sule. Oh. But for the complexion of the mother, that's another Sule Muntari. I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. <laughs> okay, so um, two days ago, I caught up with Mr. K that he was shooting his video mm -hmm. uh, feeling with uh, a Nigerian uh, 
musician okay. Ricardo Ban. So we got to talk about all the awards he's received. Mr. Kade got an award from the Netherlands Embassy. Oh, he wow. got one from Ivory Coast when he went there. Okay. Um, he got uh, the Ghana Music UK, uh, UK two awards from there as well. Is he so, making good music? Exactly. So we were talking about all those awards. He went to the Cook Studio. Oh, he's wow. been telling me about that experience and some more in this interview. It makes me feel great as an artist and I get motivated always when when I you know I get honest like this you know it keeps me going it urges me to you know keep on going and moving on and on and on and on and on and on and on as we saw the pictures of you over the cook studio what did you go do there I mean um, I went there to connect with people you know um, to be able to you know elevate my brand yeah I actually had a wonderful experience I met a lot of artists um, I collaborated with some of um, the artists that came to Coke Studio, it was really amazing, trust me. Mm. Yeah, I can't wait to see the videos that will come out. <laughs> I work with um, Eddie Kenzo, I work with um, the producer, Maporisa. Kilbit was actually also there. Um, I worked with Chelsea Baronet, and uh, Yemi Alade was also there. Mm, did you work with her as well? Etc., etc. We have something coming. Recently, we saw you earn uh, a snap. Instagram post uh, with the Maroon and that you with took. Marion, yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we just happened to be in the club. You know, I was in Kenya for the Coke Studio Africa. Yeah, he, he wasn't actually in the Coke Studio. He came there for some other thing that I can disclose. Mm -hmm. Yes, but we just happened to meet and had some chat. So hopefully, Ghanaians should just be on the lookout for something from Pisake and no Marion. Yeah. And people say that because of the nature of your jobs, you know, what happens is that you always will say, we don't have time, we don't have time. Then you drop some bombshell, somebody is pregnant for you. Then that I time, mean, that person is pregnant. Thing. I mean, kids a uh, blessing. Is, you want to fall a, in that category. It's a good thing. I mean, two, three women and be, be a bit, be, if anything happens, I'll just embrace it. It's life. <clears throat> You would can't you, run away from it. Would you want to find you yourself? Can, I don't want to run away from my responsibility. So, in case something like that should happen, I'll just embrace it and move on. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Is, is something like that happening no, anytime soon? No, I don't intend uh, doing something like that. Mm. All right, so uh, that's Mr. Kader. And Everybody wants to know what Bisakede makes of um, the allegation or the comments by Becca that she sees him as a little brother. Yes. And just when I pose the question, he says, cut, 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 cut. I don't want to talk about that. Okay. And so his business manager came around, Jay Foley. I said, it looks like your artist doesn't want to speak about anything controversial because there was a woman who had alleged that she, he was sleeping with somebody's wife. Wow. She came to apologize. So I wanted to find out, you know, how did she get to apologize? What did you do? He says, nothing controversial. But his business manager explains. What happens is that um, if it's... Um the likes of dancehall artists and hip-hop artists, they get a quick response. But when it comes to high life music, there's a little drag in there. So we are encouraging, we are pushing, we're making, they're putting all the appeal together. You can see the video with all the cars and things around, just trying to make it sweet enough to match up with all the other genres of uh, music in Ghana that people would love to. Looks like your, 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 your artist is trying to shy away from controversy now. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, you see, the high life, what I came to understand, high life in itself, if you're going to be singing high life, it comes with a certain image. This is authentic Ghanaian music. You just can't go and represent Ghana in just any way. You just can't be affiliated and always have certain kinds of controversial stories running with you. You're destroying the image of the authentic Ghanaian high life music. Mm -hmm. So we have to be very careful at any point in time what we do, what we say, how he represents himself. So he's always shying away from camera. Mm -hmm. He's always trying to protect himself from any rowdy thing going on anywhere. And I always insist as, as a manager as well so that we are not, we don't disappoint those grown folks out there who, you know, put a lot of... Um, uh, like, premium. you know, premium on, on, on high life music. Well, mm, so they won't talk anything controversial, but who was there with him? Ricardo Banks, all the way from Nigeria. He had some advice for Ghanaians. He says, come to Nigeria, come and do promotions. You don't need to have a song that then you have your songs played on your networks. Like me, them fire cut a pot of envy. 
I was I was 19 at the time. It was 2013, but I was unveiled 2014. Yeah, and yeah, that was that was when. Uh, it's a long story, but to cut everything short, um, my manager right now, who's my older older brother, was the one that sent my music. It was like a like an online competition. Don Jazzy asked uh, upcoming acts to send in their demo singles, and then my manager did. He sent my demo single, and uh, you know, out of like 5,000 entries, I was the only one chosen. Oluwani, it's a great song here in Ghana. Is it a reflection of what you had to go through? Yeah, everything in Oluwani is a, is a true story. Like, ev everything. No line is made up. Like, I didn't have to make up any line. Every line is the truth. Small boy by in my house, that was true. Small boy drive Vicky car, that's true. Like, everything is true. So yeah. People complain about how, you know, the Nigerians are able to penetrate this market. We are not able to penetrate your markets as well. What do you think could be the issue? I hear you, you hardly hear Ghanaian songs out there. Uh, there are a couple Ghanaian songs out there, like like Mansa, like Sakodi's Hallelujah. There's, there's a couple other songs. But yeah, there's just one advice. I'd, I'd advise, you know, Ghanaians to come to come through more often for promo sake. That's just it, just isn't come it? By. It's not it's not that serious. You know, travel more. Mm. Travel more, not for money benefits, just for the sake of the work. You know, try to get your music out there. Is that what Nigerians do because they say, you know, you guys are able to ah before you know Nigeria never carry last. That's the point, because mm. many times we don't even have to have a show here. We we could we just come through for interviews. Mm. It's not that far, nah. mm -hmm. like, <laughs> 200 dollars in Nigeria. So. Do you guys get to accept us when we come? That the, the radio stations open up for us for interviews like that. You know, you can come and say, "We don't know you, so we are not even interviewing." I'm sure it's never that crazy. Mm -hmm. You tell them where you're from. You tell them what you want to do. And you do shit. Like. Do you need to ride on? Maybe say so. Bisakeda knows you, so Ricardo Banks knows. That's you. an extra effort. That's an extra, you know, back up. So. So that's Ricardo Banks. A lot of people know him for the only one song yes. and the Nyejilo Nyepe with uh, Adam. Yes. And then the remix of Only One with Sarkozy. So he says, Ghanaians, you're complaining that Nigerians don't play your song. You don't promote your song. Exactly. In this I week, totally this week alone, I've seen three Nigerians pass through Ghana, mm -hmm. not for any show. Mm -hmm. Ricardo Banks, Shei, 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 and then one other person okay. have all been in Ghana mm -hmm. just to promote their stuff. He came to shoot a video with Bisake there, mm -hmm. but he's been on almost every network mm -hmm. and that's how they get people talking about them so that'll be it for entertainment but on Monday my interview with Yao Siki a year after that interview saw on social media will air here on the entertainment segment Araba can't wait Miss G all right, I'll see you on Monday. all <laughs> right thank you and stay with us because we have Joy News Interactive coming up next <laughs>